going to show you and I just kind of forgot to film it. It's actually been a couple of weeks since I filmed those other videos, um, but my items did come in. Um, and I did just uh, film a what's in my purse with the mail bag over there. So you see in there my um, accordion wallet that I got in Paisley in Paradise. So I'm not gonna really go into that because I kind of show it in that video. But I did get one of these, um, and I think I paid 23 for it. So, loving it so far. And then I found on eBay, there's my cat, I'm going to move him out of the way. <laughs> um, this is the Small Trimmed Vera um, in Paisley in Paradise. And I've never had one of these, but to me, it looks like a villager to me just with the different straps and I've watched several videos like reviews on this before I bought it and no one has had any issues with the straps because it, they're reinforced all the way to the bottom so I'm not really worried about that the only thing I'm really worried about is that they're gonna wear more easily start chipping and stuff but anyway so I bought this brand new off eBay and I got it for $25 brand new. Here's the tag and it retails for $68 and it has a front slip pocket on the front right there. It has a zipped pocket on the back right here, it goes all the way down. And then the main compartment is has a zipper closure, as you can see right there. And then it has six slip pockets, um, just like a regular sized Vera with the hard bottom right there. So I'm actually excited about this. Um, I would use that more as a purse instead of a tote, um, just because of the sheer size. Um, it's a really cute very standard Vera Bradley bag. So, the next item I got was kind of a replacement item. So, I'll show you the item that I'm replacing. If you remember a couple years back, I did a Play-Doh's Closet haul, and this is where I got this item from. And this is the Miller bag and Totally Turk, or Twerk, or however you say it. Um... And I love this bag. I used it numerous times for weekend getaways and that kind of stuff. It holds a lot of stuff. And um, one weekend, me and my mom, we went to Texas to visit my brother and his family when they still live there. And unfortunately, I left my bag on the floor and my brother has a huge Doberman. His name is Magnum. I love him to death, but this made me so sad. So, um, they were having a new baby, so I think the dog was a little stressed from all that. And he completely chewed through the strap right here. Oh, I was so sad because I love this bag so much and I really don't know what I could do to fix this. Um, I'm not a sewer or anything and I feel like if I tried to sew it back together it would just look super tacky. So I'm probably just going to sell it on eBay um, to someone, you know, that can replace it or fix it however they want. And I even saved the piece <laughs> that he chewed completely through. That goes right there. So anyways, I replaced this Miller bag with another one. And I found it in one of my favorite patterns. Provencal and it was brand new and the person had it for sale I think for $49 and they had the option of making an offer so I offered 40 and they gave it to me so I paid the same amount for this bag as I did for that bag so I was pretty happy and um, 
I have it already packed because I did do a little weekend fun thing. Um, so I do have it packed. I just haven't unpacked it. I just have some flip flops and um, some clothes down in there and I went and got some mail picked it up from my mom's house I have like deodorant and stuff and then I have my large cosmetic and English rose with all of my main makeup in there so but I did want to show you that I did um, get a replacement for my Miller bag so uh, I just wish that there was something I could do for this bag because I love it so much. I love this pattern so much too. And when I saw it at Plato's Closet, you know, I literally had that moment of a gasp, like <gasps> kind of thing. Um, if you're not familiar with the Vera bag, I mean the Miller bag, it's a great travel tote. Um, it's kind of trapezoid shaped like that when it's zipped up. It has one big pocket on the outside and the older versions are all quilted on the inside. So I made sure that this one was quilted too before I got it. The new ones are all in the nylon which makes that horrible scratching noise. But anyways, there's six slip pockets all together, three on each side and it has a hard removable bottom so you can wash it. Um, so yeah, that is it for this haul and I hope you all enjoyed it and I uh, hope I'm not going to be, you know, uh, away <laughs> this time as, as I was this past couple of years. But anyways, I hope you all have a good one and talk to you later. Okay, bye!